America. Welcome back to Hawk Forward. Today we're working on a 2012 GMC Sierra Denali 3500 with a 6.6 uh, Duramax diesel engine. We're going to be showing you how to change the fuel filter. First thing you're going to need is a 7 millimeter or I think this is a 9 30 second socket that driver and this is a pry tool to remove these clips right here um, you can do it with just a screwdriver just put a screwdriver in here like this and go around it and work it loose like this but this is a handy little tool um, just pulls them right out pull the whole thing out just like that be careful these things break pretty easy if you're not careful with them also uh, as I mentioned you're gonna need a seven millimeter for these small screws around here So you're going to take these off and I'm not exactly sure how many of these clips there are on this but you just keep going till you can get it out and uh, I'm going to take this thing loose and then we'll be right back once you removed all of your these small bolts and clips uh, you can pull this down. There's also, I thought I mentioned, there is a 13 millimeter bolt that takes your uh, mud flap off the front and two 10 millimeter bolts in the front of your inner fender. You get that out of the way, you can pull these, pull this thing down and so if you can see in there. But there is, once you pull your inner fender down, you're going to see there is a couple of places where you've got wires connected. There's one here. I already pulled it off. Use your same little pry tool or screwdriver and just pop these loose. get those out of the way and you can completely remove your inner fender set that to the side and you can see your fuel filter all right let's see if I can... here's your fuel filter Now that you've got all that stuff out of your way, you can drain your filter right here. Let's try to put something underneath it. Open this up. Put it and see if it's got any water in it, just for giggles. I keep it going. Uh, 
once you get this thing drained out, I want to unplug this. You just squeeze this tab right here. Pull that out. And then you can spin this thing off here. Just hand tighten. Probably going to get some crud to fall down on you, maybe. Once you've gotten your filter off and dump the remainder of the diesel fuel that is in your filter into a approved container, take a pair of pliers for channel lock. So you're going to want to take this off. reinstall this on your new filter be sure and replace this o-ring right here not sure if you can see this or not down inside there there is a fair amount of debris uh, you may want to take a small paint brush or some very soft bristled brush and Try to clean that out and wash that out before you install that on your new fuel filter. So once you get your uh, filter bottom drain, I guess is what you would call it, cleaned out, you may be able to see down in there, I hope you can, how much better it looks. I just took a little brush and some clean diesel fuel and then uh, took some compressed air, cleaned out the passage, just knocked this out so it'd be nice and squeaky clean your new filter is going to come with o-rings one for the top and the bottom make sure you put those on reinstall the new o-ring and screw this down in there Snug this thing up. Don't over, don't over tighten it, but snug it up. Put your o ring in the top here, and get back on my hand. Always check your o ring groove. Don't just assume that because you've got a new part that is clean and free of debris. I don't know if this camera is going to focus, but right here, there is a small very small piece of metal shaving right here down in the bottom of your o-ring group always clean those things out i have actually seen vehicles that were leaking from the factory where an o-ring uh, groove had trash a piece of trash or something in it uh, came from the factory like that so always pay attention to that anytime you're messing with any kind of o-ring or gasket we're gonna clean that out before we put our o-ring in there all right now we've got our new o-ring installed everything is good to go we'll put this thing back up here and screw it on and tight. this is not uh, something you're going to need to lean on too hard it just screws right on once you get once you get your fuel filter snug back up and hand tightened uh, you want it really you want it snug really snug hand tight you're going to prime i don't know if you can see this but on top of this unit is a primer and you just prime this thing until it gets really stiff and 
we should be good to go. I really hope that helped you guys out. Um, stay tuned. We're going to be doing some more uh, videos on this vehicle. We're changing the uh, tie rod in, idler arm, uh, pitman arm, and some uh, other maintenance videos on that vehicle. Uh, be sure and hit your like and subscribe button down below. We appreciate y'all watching. Uh, God bless. We'll see you on the next one.